Hey everyone, my name is Abby, and thank you so much for joining us today. Today's story is about when God created the world and us. He created us in His image, and He also created us for a mission. When we stay close to Jesus, we produce good fruit and others see His image through us. That's why today we're saying, every day I reflect Jesus to others.
We're going to take some time right now to watch a Bible story together. And like I said before, today we're going to be looking at the story of creation. So let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, Let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, Let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, Let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man, and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Uh -oh. Hi! Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea, Hello, man. the birds in the sky, Hello, man. and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. How amazing is God? He created everything out of nothing, and He created us in His image. But He didn't just create us for nothing. He wants a close relationship with us, and we can have that relationship because of Jesus. Our friend, Pastor Andrew, is going to be talking to us a little bit more about our story right now. So let's take a look. The story of creation is amazing in so many ways. God creates the whole universe. He makes our world and everything that we see around us. Our God is powerful. But of all that God created, He made one part of His creation to be made in a very special way. He chose to make human beings in His image. That's how He made Adam. That means you are made in the image of God. But what does it mean to be made in God's image? Well, let's imagine someone dressed up as Batman. 
Is that person actually Batman? No, but they are showing people around them what Batman looks like. We're made in the image of God. So when people see us, they see a picture of what God is like. People see a picture of how God loves. And this is important because our mission is tied to our identity. In order for us to do what God has called us to do, it's important that we know who we are. God put Adam in charge of all the earth, over all the animals, the birds, and the plants. Adam is on God's mission. He's there to spread God's glory, and he's made in God's image. And guess what? God's mission has not changed. He wants us to, to do the exact same thing. And to do good things, we need to stay close to Jesus. When we stay close to Jesus, we will produce good fruit and the world will see Jesus through us. It's kind of like this Play-Doh and this key. Play-Doh is cool because it's moldable and I can form it into different things. One cool thing about this Play-Doh is that it can carry the image of something else. So check this out. This key has a design on it. And if I bring this key really close to the Play-Doh, the key will leave a print on the Play-Doh. And now when I see the Play-Doh, I can see the design that was on this key. Here's what it looks like. Here's the Play-Doh and the key. All I do is put the key on the Play-Doh and press the key into it. Now check out what happens when I lift the key off of the Play-Doh. The design stays there. Because we're made in God's image, people around us can see Jesus through us. And that means every day we can reflect Jesus to others. We are created to carry God's image, to be molded and formed into the image of Jesus. So. How do we make sure that we are caring or reflecting the image of Jesus? I would encourage you to talk with your family about this question. Then don't stop there. Whatever you talked about, make sure to do it this week. Remember, every day we should reflect Jesus to others. It's what we're created to do. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.